They better they better have looked at that and reviewed that and seen where the problems go wrong. They are going to start on the CT side, Liquid on the T side, and a massive amount of bodies in the B-Halls to head towards the B-Bomb site. Smoke out from OC. That one goes deep. Cover off the back side of the site. None toward the arch, though, so Apex going to have a free shot. Not a free hit, though. Luckily, Spinks does. They haven't spotted time yet. He's going to have two guns and two targets. He'll find both of them. Oh, no. What is that third one as he spins around? Dupree hits OC. <laughs> Pistol for Vitality. Duelies are doing work today, Matt. Have you seen the duelies? I wasn't going to say it. Yes. <laughs> there, yeah, there is Apex, the classic. The finger guns are out. You love that from Vi uh, from Zaiwu. And, and look, Team Liquid throughout this throughout this tournament, throughout ESL Pro League, have run a lot of their T pistol rounds on Mirage towards the B bomb site. We had Furia kind of counter strat them. We had Cloud Nine counter strat them on this uh, as well. And now, and now you get Vitality shutting them down with a stack towards that B bomb site. Plenty of players take the attention away from Zaiwu, and he makes him pay. Excuse me, I don't know if it, was, it wasn't it wasn't Cloud Nine. There was another team who also ran a very heavy defense at the B bomb site, a stack. I was able to shut down Liquid's pistol round. So, one nothing for Vitality. And it's just unarmored Glocks for Team Liquid. Oh, see? Just chilling with that, yeah, Glock. That's all they got. So we'll see if they can make anything out of this because didn't get a plant in the last one. That's why they've elected for the full save this time to get that third round by. And Apex, being Apex, has decided, you know what? I'll join you in that party. You guys don't want to buy guns? I won't either. You no know, matter, it was Mavi Star we'll, Riders. We'll save the planet together. Mavi Star, yeah, what about them? Who was able to shut them down in a piss run at the B bomb site and Fury at those two teams? So, you know, Mavi Star, Cloud Nine, basically the same thing. Zaiwu and Sphinx. Yeah, definitely. And a tear them apart, triple kill from Sphinx. And it's 2 nothing. So now we'll get the guns for Team Liquid and likewise for Apex. He saved to get himself up to a $5,300. Uh, dollar Situate, yeah, this is what I thought. Apex is going to go straight on to, a, to an AWP. That's going to get handed to Zaiwu. So he was saving because he's a smart and very generous team. He, he said in a piece of content with me earlier uh, in the event, it's played a couple times that, you know, it's basically what he's doing right now for Zaiwu is just being that guy who drops him whatever weapon he needs when he needs it. He just hands him over, whatever it might be. He was willing to sacrifice anything to get to make sure Zaiwu's got his comfort. And that's probably exactly what you should do considering the caliber of Zaiwu. Molotov, I don't know, have made it all the way. Sphinx is going to grab the opening kill into Yakinder. Which is a great turnaround from the way Inferno is going. That's towards top mid. So the Molotov does force him into the open. He takes the fight. Sphinx grabs that kill. Sphinx just waiting with that smoke. It's on a bit of a timer. Lee's trying to come up from the bottom. The underpass back far enough that the nade won't matter. You kinder gone already, though, man. Oh, man, this is going to be a problem. They certainly have his number on dust, too. They didn't know Inferno, mind you. No, not at all. He was he was an absolute beast on Inferno. But sometimes early in the series, you can get lured into that false sense of security, and now he's going to have to be aware that the last map and now this round have not worked out in his favor early on. Yeah, this round is very, very slow and calculated from Team Liquid. They haven't even really uh, applied any pressure. Some mid smokes down to allow them to get some space down the mid ramp and up towards Catwalk, but. Still nothing really challenging the Vitality defense in any meaningful way. Spoke with Zonic outside this morning, actually, while I was waiting for my lovely breakfast to arrive. Hang on, because Zaiwu's got a chance at this. Fired in, he actually does hit Naf, but he's forced off and into the hands of OC. Well positioned to take out Catwalk. Well timed, and Apex will be traded. OC with that kill as well. Bombs down on the other side of the arch. So it would have been lovely if they could have kept that going forward because OC's posted to try and hold this window. That's why he puts utility out instead, but he drops. It just gets the shot. Time's an issue. Ten seconds. They got to hurry up and get this. Magus can he can remain aggressive and actually put oh, a stop to it. Nitro's it, picked it. it up and okay, he's got safely towards Catwalk. Catwalk's got to be covered though, and a leash slides out and gets it. Massive kill. He almost didn't pick up that bomb. He had to go back twice. He didn't get it on the first step toward it. Majisk out the doorway instead is going to try and work his way around Quad. Nitro's still checking the window, which means he's going to be expecting the shot. He takes the damage first, though he's down to 20, and Liquid might have done enough as Nitro slides back into position. Two to one. And it is Liquid on the board after the first gun. Just quickly to finish that thought, Zonic said what a lot of the plan is, first off, he hasn't prepped for a best of five in a long time, but <laughs> shutting down Yekinder was going to be number one priority. Yeah, I think you got to look at his play in this tournament and realize uh, so much so much has been provided by Yekinder. But the nice thing, too, is, is once we've gotten to the playoffs, not so much in the group stage where Yekinder very much felt like a hard carry mode, Yekinder. And once we've gotten to the playoffs, you, we've obviously seen a little bit more of a resurgence from OC, but also Elysia's having a fantastic tournament where he stepped up, had huge clutches, had huge impact 
multi kills. So he's been able to provide some relief, a little bit aggression from the defense. And another man disadvantage for Team Liquid. They're playing three on four for a minute and a half. 90 seconds, you could say, Jason. But I'll take a minute and a half if that's what you'll give me. Zai, we're back through Murderhole. Apex, Deagle. So the fact that he saved all his money and then spent it all on a teammate means that that's part, partly why they're lower on the weapons right now. OC still top middle. Smoke does bounce out. He, they might, okay, they want that M4 yeah. really badly. And OC's not exactly watching it because he's got too many other angles to worry about. Relatively clever. Kind of a cool way to try and put out a deeper smoke to allow him to, to just kind of blindly press here, blindly walk over, but it's just barely out of his reach. Naf looking to challenge in Palace. Actually, everyone from Team Liquid spread at the moment. Nitro's coming through the underpass. OC's going to pick up the bomb, and I have to imagine he would go back through T-spawn to meet up with Naf either in Palace or a ramp. This is a great advantage for Vitality. And in the round, as you mentioned, economy's low. Weaponry's a little bit scuffed. Nitro might have some pressure. They might get aggressive here. He spots it. Good kill. Three on three. Right, we're backing again, trying to get back over toward the B side of the map. Naf, as always in Palace, needs to enter, but Spinks has good positioning with the Deagle. Yeah, but it's only the Deagle here. It's only the Deagle, and Nitro's going to hold on towards mid. But once again, time is an issue. Actually, Spinks can chill and just go to stop the bomb plan. Nitro looking for one kill in middle. He's found the timing. He's found the headshot as well. Eight seconds. This makes it so tense. Spinks has a real opportunity. Does. Oh, he pushes out five seconds. He needs to be checked. Naf was there. Naf knew the situation. And Zaiwu's in the same position, but he's got a one on three with the bomb ticking against him now. And if he goes down here with this gun, they're going to not have any to work with in the next round. But he starts this off very well. Very, very well indeed. Okay. No Two kills through the smoke. You're right. No kit, but he spotted out Naf. He's got tons of time on this. What is Zaiwu doing? That's unbelievable. All 1v1s, all Liquid players offered up. They're going to be kicking themselves for that one. They come back from a three on four. It's a beautifully played round up until that point and a one versus three victory for Zaiwu. I, I, you have to imagine Vitality can't even believe the gift they've been given with that kind of a clutch. Ousin oh. gets dropped, can't get away. Smoke is just starting to fade. Maybe that's Nitro not having the timing perfectly. I think Zaiwu spotted him, but he obviously gets the kill through the smoke and Naf just gets pulled into a peak. That's outrageous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Liquid can't give these away. Not in a best of five grand final. No, that's an instant migraine. I mean, the, the fact that they lost the 2v5 as well on Dust2, that really, really opened up the first half for Vitality. This one as well as, I, I just finished saying, they're going to lose the money. They're going to lose the economy. And Zaiwu pulls off a, a 1v3. I said maybe we get another top 10 play out of him. That one wasn't exactly spectacular, but damn, it was crisp. I know it was important more than anything. The impact value of a round like that can be massive down the stretch. Two round lead for Vitality. Weapon lead for Vitality. They've got SMG to start replenishing the bank. That round looks so good, too. The kill that Nitro gets on Catwalk is actually massive. That's what allows OC to plant the bomb safe so that Spinks doesn't have an opportunity to drop the bomb before the time runs out. So the double play from the bottom position of the underpass. Spinks, looking back at that, slides up to get forward of the smoke so they can't boost. Remember, Vitality will stay here in Malta tomorrow whereas Liquid will be on a plane to Sweden for their respective RMRs. Yeah, and the, the, the American, the North America, or the Americas RMR starting a day later as well, starting on Wednesday, whilst the European RMR starts on Tuesday, so there is that extra day for travel for Team Liquid. But I'm sure they'd like to be on a flight feeling a little more confident. With a trophy in the overhead bin. Spinks waiting patiently. Very slow opening for the T side for Team Liquid. This round with Deagles and Tech 9 is going to try and crack in. Utility being spent. Mega's going to get the first kill. Zaiwu gets one almost synchronized. A follow up with the AWP. Dinked means he's going to fall back and let his teammates handle the rest of the work. And it's 4 to 1. Desperate from NAF. Not even a kill, though. So the money is really building up now. Two MP9s will stay on the board. Back to guns, though, for Team Liquid. AWP already bought out from OC. And a full arsenal of grenades. One thing to mention too, you kind of touched on it with the with the game that Yakinder had on, on Inferno as the opening map in this series in these grand finals and how good it was in a little bit of a fade away on Dust 2. First time he's played in that best of five. First time he's been able to, or he's, be, he's had a, a grand final of this, this caliber, or a series of this caliber. So he's gonna be in a new element as well. Round six. 
Apex went a perfect position. And Liege nearly got back to that with the angle, but he'll go down. That's going to be costly. Not only that, look at this. They've Molotoved off the AK. They smoke it as well. I'm surprised that that's not sprayed at a little bit more aggressively because presumably that was what they were intending to get and will get and fall away with. The game plan of Vitality here on, on Mirage has worked out wonders. This is the second time they've had a, that aggressive stance. Ooh, Yekinder off angle. Dupree's gonna slide in. I think an elbow showed a little bit earlier than Dupree would have liked before he fully commits to it. So, man, a four on three, man advantage that's for Liquid a, now. That's like, that is a way more important kill that Liquid gets than loses. If they lose two AKs to MP9s on off angles early, oh. Yeah, but look at the read from Vitality. Again, the game plan right now is just absolutely perfect. Uh, all three players are going to be at the B bomb site. Magus is coming through the murder hole as we speak. He's going to shift over to B. All three defenders are here. Liquid's not going to expect this, and Zaiwu's got the first. Got the first, and he's got a clean line of sight toward the second. Smoke goes down. That's the preservation smoke. Slight gap in that, though, so they've got to be somewhat careful. Naf gets above it. He's still spraying in, though. Careful with his ammunition. He's got to get a reload in. No, apparently not. He's got Zaiwu down. It's on to Apex this time in the 1v3. Plants, always oh, pushed. The Kinder wasn't ready for it. Naf's gotten off the plant because he knows that he has to try and find the kill. And unfortunately for Apex, he can't bait out any further time. Naf gets a third, and it is going to be Liquid with their second round. Uh, once again, Naf is called upon to have a bunch of critical kills to bail Team Liquid out of a tough spot. The triple is amazing. He grabs the rotator. They know Zaiwu is still around, and even though Apex was lying in wait, he had no more teammates to distract. Very dangerous round that Liquid come out on top of. So four to two when it could have been three three based on the fourth round. Yeah. I'm I, I'm curious to see how much more aggression we're gonna see from Vitality's defense. The mid push worked great in the first gun round. Obviously some mid pressure as if it was gonna be a mid push and the SMGs pushed into the B halls in the last round was effective as well. Even in a losing effort, but aggression getting in Liquid's face seems to be a very effective tactic here to start Mirage. This time, Yekinder's not even going to mess with top mid. He's like, you guys have mollied me, you've pushed me, you've naded me, you've taken duels, you've had a lot of bodies here. This time, I'm going to chill. I think Yekinder's going to have to figure out how to play against it and how to chill, because that is the problem. They are countering him perfectly. Nitro again, downed. He's taken out this time by Majisk. I say again, he does sit tied for tops right now on Liquid with four kills. So Naf shows AK and Palace and lets OC slide into position with the AWP. And OC's looking for anyone to rotate through window room towards jungle. Liquid is going to hit this A bomb site. Alish is coming up in middle, but Magus, absolute beast at the top of A ramp. A second kill for him in the round. Didn't expect your kinder. Starts it off with one. Spinks underneath in the shadow has his teammates rotating around. No one toward jungle right now, though. He's actually alone. There's no one that's... Okay, CT's just getting there. This is such a sick bait for Spinks to slide out of this position. You'll, you'd never expect this if you're Liquid. Smoke goes deep. Yep, you're absolutely right. They even look back for a flank before they considered it. Elise gets the shot. Luckily, he has smoke down to his right side, but they're not aware that Zaiwu has gotten inside a CT. They'll know now. Yeah, and OC's backing off of this one. 24 seconds, 2 HP, and Zaiwu is going to try and cut him off towards spawn. So is Dupree. OC's not getting away. If, the only chance he has of surviving is tucking himself into Palace and hoping and praying, but he has got no idea this is coming, and boom, Dupree's got him from the side. Three-round lead, Vitality's defense holding strong and looking great. Looking fantastic. Good job from Spinks. That's such a nice slide into that position underneath balcony. It's actually, it's actually so perfect because the push you'd expect a top ramp. You, you, you'd think that would be the player playing underneath the balcony, playing in dark. And Yekinder specifically only on three kills this round. Back to pistols, deagles to work with, and a run boost at middle that Zaiwu is going to have to be damn fast to hit. I doubt he does, given that he's yeah. so close on this liver. If he hits this shot, uh, just call it quits. Call it a day. That'd be such an incredible thing with that kind of a gap that he's working with. And I called that it was a run boost. They actually just want to see if anyone's going to peek at lower connector. It can turn into a run boost. You're not wrong yet. I'm probably wrong, Jason. I'm, yeah. But it can turn into a run boost. This is a good bait position right now. Dupree on the balcony. Apex taking aggro. And Kinder might just get baited into that position that they will likely not check. Nitro now, after shoulder peeking so many times, is just going to hold the angle. Oh, well, I'm wrong again. As soon as I say <laughs> that, he decides to go back to the other jiggling aspect. This is a very slow paced round, as we've seen from Liquid. Ooh, Elige knows he gets the dink, tries to jump and clean him up, but that at least forces the op out of window, forces Iwu to be extremely passive. He's going to shift positions five on four for Vitality. 
Dupree pushes up into the B-Halls and cuts off access. Yeah, that was the player that was sitting on balcony, so he thinks they've left. Gets a little bit of information, no damage done. That's a lovely shot, though. Spinks down. So now with the damage on Zaiwu, you're right. There is a chance like we could do something with this. And and actually, Vitality is shifting away from the B bomb site, which is where Elysia and Nap are going at. They say we, we've killed we've killed the player. You're gonna have to shift over in that direction, which might soften this up. Good kill from Dupree to hold on. Zaiwu sliding over now as well, but he'll keep distance with the two health AWP. He heard the second player in Elysia. He didn't. See him when he re peeked out to Naf. He had no idea that he was tucked in behind the door and that close, so he tried to get away from danger. Still goes down, but it's the man advantage and a nade that's going to drop Elise. So a good bomb plant on all this, considering the situation and how this round started. And OC with only pistols to begin with figures, why not? Let's give this a go. Picks up the AK and in the window finds the first. Now that's an information play because Zywoo's low on HP and it just responds accordingly. Yeah, smart play from Zywoo to just offer himself up to give away the position of OC. He's quick even with an AK-47, but no can do this time without armor. Plant goes down. That's an important kill onto Elysia with utility also. We've seen him deliver some stunning moments in, in situations just like that. Vitality extends it to four. They do, but again, we mentioned the bomb plant, so that means Liquid's going to get a big boost here into this round with a max loss bonus. We're not quite. I think we're three rounds in, are we not? Three rounds in, yep. Okay. Not quite there yet. That's, I mean, they've won, they've won those isolated single rounds that's just kind of chipped away and prevented that losing bonus from building up fully, but they, they, again, Liquid haven't been able to really string it together. Haven't been able to go on any kind of a run. They've got to handle this mid-presence. They've got to figure out a way to either force Vitality back without taking damage or take one of these kills. It's been tough. Sphinx is going to be on the ramps. I ruin the window with the off. Your kicker slides over, but he's down to 34 HP. That's an initial engagement victory for Sphinx. Good movement from Zaiwu early on to try and look down below as well as hold the window. He will fall now though. Liege getting the kill, but Spinx still holding above that smoke catches out Elyse. That's a faster, that's a faster play from Elysian underpass, throwing a little bit of caution to the wind with all the all the activity going on in middle. And he's like, I'm gonna slide out much quicker than they expect. Catches Zaiwu. So good timing found by him. But no gap in the defense as Dupree slides into the position in window room to look for someone to jump up in. And again, Liquid want to try and abuse Apex over towards the B bomb site. Nade deep in the hallway, just touches Nitro. A little bit deeper than his position, so he only goes down to 90. Four on four with 45 seconds to work with. Shot out from Spinks, finds Ekinder. And quiet again. Three and nine so far this game. Not at all being given the opportunities that he has in so many other situations. Has to extinguish the flames, but in doing so, Apex gives up time, not space. He shuffles out. They even tried to pre-fire. Nitro thought he would be locked into the corner. He still manages to get two kills. He's going to have to find a third over top of the box. He does that to Apex. It's E versus Majisk, and Nitro switches over to the AWP while planting the ball. Majisk, does he jump through? Not quite. So bomb down. Nitro's going to play for the one-hit wonder on this. Smokes off quad, swings but can't find it, but just there first. And it's now seven to two for Vitality. Yeah, oh, and he's gonna rub it in too. I love that. Do do more of that. Shoot the wow, body, team right. give it all over. You deserve it. Well done, Tomato Face. Yeah, that's a good one versus one victory for Magus. A nice recovery for Nitro to make that possible, but still, Team Liquid have yet to like really feel like there's a whole lot of strength behind these rounds. They're just slipping away. They're getting picked off one by one. I wonder if at some point, Liquid, you'd expect them perhaps to switch into more of an execute explosion heavy style because the moment this like spread out default, take the map control, they're losing a lot of players really early without gaining a whole lot for it. They might just want to switch up tactics and philosophies just to see if you can get them on the board again. And you can go back to it if you really want. Close affair. I don't know if Nitro even really wanted to switch up into the AWP. I think he just wanted to grab the closest gun because he didn't want to reload. Over the flames, Magus again is going to get one and transfers over. Holy hell. He is on it right now. He is absolutely slaughtering them. The aggression from Vitality. Liquid are not ready for this. They need to call a timeout and really reconsider their game plan. Maybe stick to more set executions. Ekinder's finally going to get some space. They were going for it this round. They were going for an execution. They had Nath and Palace. They had three players at ramp. OC was lined up in support with Utility, but Megas getting aggressive like that just shuts it down. I mean, he finds Nitro. Alicia's trying to swing for the trade, and you can't execute when they get up in your face and find two kills. Now, look at what Ekinder's provided. We mentioned he's quiet. That's an important kill towards the B bomb site. It's pulled most of the defense towards his position. Spinks and Zywoo are going to be flanking through underpass. Magus has to go passive at A. Zywoo. 
to Kinder that's going to swing all the way through on this 44 seconds. No movement really though. Still just waiting this one out with the bomb at Horseshoe, trying to see if there's any, or excuse me, at uh, A main, trying to see if there's any openings in this because their teammate's there, but this flank, OC's looking backwards. He's aware of it. He heard it coming. Dupree goes down. I'm not sure they're going to expect two though. No, they won't. They won't, and they spotted the bomb on OC as well. Kinder's not being active enough in this situation. I'm not sure if he's expecting that someone's still inside the tunnels or not. He needs to cover off Connector right now, this exact second. Molotov will still go down from Naf, but unfortunately he falls as well. Now Yekinder gets into the picture. That's going to pull them back out, but Spink still has position, and he knows it. With eight seconds, he's going to pop out from Palace, and down goes Yekinder as well. Yeah, I think I think you have a point there. I think this is just stalled out way too long from, from Team Liquid. They gave, they gave so much time for Vitality, who have been the aggressors, to be as proactive as they'd like across the map. They, they gave them so much time to push up middle, push and flank through underpass, flank all the way through T-spawn behind him as well. But this is the opening. I mean, just was the, he was, he was the saving grace for Vitality against G2 in the semifinal yesterday as well. Had that phenomenal, that phenomenal Inferno performance that dragged them right back into a winning series that dragged them right into the grand finals. Performing here on Mirage. And now we're getting a little bit more fast paced, a little bit more energy to open up for Team Liquid. OC missing the first opportunity, but doesn't get taken down either, so. At least a bit of information to the positioning. Nate's going to be decent on top of that. Doesn't matter. Sphinx is going to beat it. It's going to do the damage, but just the M4. He's been looking so good at the front of the site. Nate just gets removed by OC. Now on the AK. And even though they know where Sphinx is, Zyru's there. 9-2. This is turning into an absolute slaughter in the favor of Vitality. Yeah, it's not even really turning to. It already, it already is a slaughter. Seven-round lead. This is brutal. Sphinx has 16... Not a whole lot of openings. Well, no, that's the thing. And that, that we're going to see what the play is this time. Because, again, this mid position has been so heavily defended. And Zaiwu comes up for connector this time to look at the underpass. And he might get one now. No mistake on it. Elige gone. You, you mentioned that Zonic's game plan was, was shut down uh, Yekinder more than anything. I mean, look, game plan is working perfectly. Oh, he's had no room. Yeah, no, there, there's nothing. Middle's been a constant issue. This time it's Elise who gets dropped first by the aggressive play. And just like that, Zaiwu disappears and he relocates to the B bomb site. And again, this is part of the reason why some of these rounds have been so slow for Team Liquid is because you're, you're playing four on five and you have no map control. Vitality's finding kills on their first step in the round. Staring down that sliver gap. The man who opened the round might be the man to get the second kill in it as well because Zaiwu is holding and they are walking in that direction. Naf being slow about it. Nitro wants to cross quickly. Steps out, shot baited. They push him off the angle, but look who pops out from the ladder at the exact same time, knowing that it's going to be a two-pronged approach. Dupree shuts down Yakinder again, and Zaiwu still finds Nitro. Naf tagged onto 19. 30 seconds in this round, and I think this round's already written the ending because look at the push to top middle. Take a look at the utility as well that Vitality has. Because, because they're getting so many of these opening kills, they're being so patient and so calm and so poised in terms of using their nades. Like, that 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 attack towards the B bomb site comes out with, what, 40 seconds on the clock? There's a counter Molotov, there's counter nades, there's counter flashbangs coming in. Liquid, even, even late in the rounds, is having to execute into so much counter utility that they can get nothing clean. And look at the setup. A pop flash as well to peek into the halls. Should be an easy kill for Dupree, and indeed it will be. Liquid can save nothing because Vitality is relentless. Double digits already. Wow. Okay. Liquid really, really struggling to get anything in this game. T-side Mirage. My, my, my mind's going back to, we, we, in the group, in the group D, in the, in the, in the group stage of, of ESL Pro League, before the playoffs even began, we had a conversation with Liquid one night, uh, down in the hotel lobby with Yakinder. One of the things he was telling me was about how impressed he's been with the look of Vitality, that's a misspoke, look of Vitality with the, with how they played in practice as well. And he said they're a top three team, just right out of the gate. He was like, Vitality's a top three team at this point. People don't know it yet, but they're playing like a top three team. Well, this would certainly put them in a good argument toward it, and it would be great to have another team to challenge at the top more consistently. FaZe and Na'Vi. Cloud9 certainly making steps among that as well, but... Yeah, I mean, these teams have made so many changes to try and catch formerly Na'Vi, and then FaZe did it, and then they were the ones that were way out in front. Ooh, this is a great Molotov. I was wondering. Good job from Naf. Molotov forces uh, Mages out into the open. I didn't, I didn't know if they'd 
be aware of that possibility, aware of that eventuality. Good find. Unfortunately, they finally get a five on four. They finally get the opening kill in a round where they only have pistols to really try and capitalize on it. Back over. And they'll split up toward the palace and A main position. That Molotov's very, very early from Zaiwu. Same with the smoke, although you could argue the smoke's not too bad because it'll last obviously a much greater duration. And that'll give it about another 10 seconds from now. That nade's gonna be lovely. Bang. Elige feels the devastation of that. Goes down to 63 HP. And then a second one puts him on 27. Now Zywu gets to go off. He catches out OC as well. There was a dink onto him. It didn't even matter. And Spinks still is a menace inside of the site despite, despite not being forward toward the shadow position this time. Nitro. Lovely shot on the Tech 9, but Dupree is going to find him 11 to 2. None of this matters. This this map might just be... <laughs> you, might, you might even want to call it at this point. Round 14, Vitality has so much money, so much cash, there's going to be no problem regardless of what happens in this, in this round whatsoever. They have another buy behind them. Uh, Liquid need these last two rounds. They need to scrape together whatever they possibly can. They're staring down the barrel of, of being 1-2 in the series overall. You need some breathing room. Zaiwu and Spinks both at 18 kills apiece. The two of them alone it's foolish. are shutting down Liquid. Save some for the rest of us, man. OC, ooh, this time might finally get the boost to work. Couldn't hit the shot. He gets a second crack at it. He does hit him, but through the edge of the wall, it only does 65, or puts him to 65, I should say, so it only does 35 damage. Dupree and Spinks are gonna push up mid on, on the back of that. Quick maths. More aggression. Vitality have not wanted to give anyone from Liquid any kind of breathing room. Dupree would be Against the wall, if Yikinder were to swing, which I doubt he will, Zywu takes contact deep with the AWP, and Dupree's there to challenge. Flash, Yikinder's forced off. They don't challenge. Oh, they do. Spinks went for it. I saw Dupree backing off the angle, but Spinks goes for it instead. Makes no mistake on it. Nitro, A main. They're going to try and use speed to beat this rotation back down middle, and it's all on him just to cover it off. Nitro spots him from Tetris. Smoke goes off in the middle, but Nitro already has the angle lined up. Spinks forced back down the stairs ever so slightly, but here we go, because the big old mean green machine is in the hands of Zywu back towards CT. And Elijah isn't involved in the fight yet. He's way, way deep in middle. He's not involved whatsoever, and they're going to get a Aggressive again. Once again, no more breathing space. Double kill from Nitro. Disgusting peek on the second player. And Zaiwu still in position at Firebox. As Elise grabs one in middle, and Zaiwu's got it all to do. That was the case of who saw the other first. They were just surprised to run into each other. You can see Elise was looking away. Zaiwu forced forward. Deagle still. He won a one on three earlier in this half, but he's not going to win it this time. Elise is going to put him down. And finally, they get another round, 11-3. Remember, that was before they even won their last round that Zywu got that clutch. Yeah, that's such a difficult round, though. Team Liquid have to work so hard for that. I really, really like the philosophy that Vitality is playing with, the attitude they've got. We know you're at top ramp. We know you're waiting to line up some utility to make this execute work, and we don't want to give it to you. We don't want to let you throw all your nades. Get up in their face and disrupt the timings. Huge clutch, necessary clutch from Elige but still desperate for Liquid. Back by eight. So then we'll see a push again. Zywu and Sphinx. Zywu, not with the AWP, interestingly enough. That's Dupree holding it. What are the odds of that? Nah, oh my goodness, nailed them both. I think the first bullet ricocheted off the helmet into the second player. Yeah, that was quick. That didn't even look like a transfer in any way. That's just, that, I don't even know if they were lined up that, all that perfectly. It just worked out for him per magically. Gotta say, Jason, you know NA's in trouble when a Valorant player's top fragging. <laughs> fair enough. That's a fair point. 12 kills on Nitro, the captain. Doing great work for them. This round, it's NAF to provide the impact. And once again, towards the A bomb site, we go two players inside the site. Apex has the first. There's NAF sliding out. A third kill for him, dropping down. He gets four. On for the ace. Dupree sliding up. The op that he was given off the spawn. Baited out of a shot, couldn't find it. And Dupree will go to the pistol instead to try and run in, knowing it's the end of the half. Doesn't matter. You kinder close. Finding opening kills and being aggressive everywhere on the map and in every situation, not giving Liquid any space to work with. It was actually so cool to watch. Liquid had to fight tooth and nail just to get the four rounds they have on the board. They need the pistol. Shot out from Nitro. Not successful to find shields for him. It's OC that's actually going to double it up in return. In return of one kill only against them as well. And Nitro 
With nades going forward and damage coming in, gets one through the smoke. Dupree left with 12 HP and three to find. It's going to be very difficult. Yakinder will confirm that by getting his eighth kill of the game, and it's a uh, pissed around desperately needed. Another opening frag goes the way of Vitality's. I would get the first one, but OC stands tall on the bomb site. You find precision work with the USP to grab a double kill before the site is completely overrun. So that gives Liquid a little bit of breathing room. 5 to 11. SMG's picked up. No plant for Vitality, so unarmored Glocks on the table for the T side. So we'll get straight back into it then with as you say, the unarmored Glocks, but the SMGs that can massively farm up some cash from that. A couple P250s mixed up in there, although unarmored as well. Zaiwu with one of those could get a headshot potential when they run in toward him, if they run in toward him. It looked like Nitro was going that direction, but a Molotov instead. I think uh, this is kind of uh, the classic uh, for, for some of you new schoolers. I think there was a little bit of a French time out here. Apex was just kind of AFK and T-Spawn talking to his teammates, I believe. Just going over a few things in a round that's pretty much a garbage round that they don't have anything to do. Two P250s, no utility. They were all spread on the map just looking for aggression while Apex gave out some, some last marching orders moving into the next round. Nitro is going to get challenged, and for the moment, he's the only one here. Elise can turn and spin at the top con very quickly, but Nitro is going to have to hold down the fort. Calling footsteps, calling action, and he's got two kills with the SMG. Yeah, two, two plus one, and luckily there's no armor on those because the M SMG was able to just really pull them apart. Elise jumping over, we'll get the last one on the Zaiwu. Now we go 11 to 6. Now it's going to be interesting to see what Team Liquid does with these SMGs. If, if Elise or Nitro it's... want to upgrade, they've got 4,400. Do they want to keep them? Do they want to try and get in your face? Or how do you want to manage this against the AK-47s on a wide open map like it, Mirage? It's exactly. It's so typically that you would go for the for, for, for the, the bonus round, build up that cash, have a buy in hand. But at the same time, you're down 11-6 in a game that you've been absolutely bruised on the gun rounds. Do you really want to concede a round? You, uh, you don't want to give much away, do you? It's not It's not necessarily, yeah. I, I know what you mean. It's it's not entirely conceding right now. I think if you're, if you're liquid, I think you just risk it here because you want to have the economy. Talk about aggression. Yukinder's going to do it again. sick at that group stages. Yes. Go back to group stages. He was unreal at that push. He it, destroyed Cloud9 with it. Over the smoke. Dupree's on top of the boxes. Yukinder, is he going to challenge? Dupree's still standing tall. A little one way on his zone. Oh, Yukinder's got it after the first shot. Important trade from Zaiwu, but one of those SMGs can now swap out. Elish has picked up the M4 off Yakinder's dead body. So a nice upgrade there and a man advantage. And look at Vitality. They've had to spend a lot of utility to deal with that aggression. They've got a smoke and a Molotov remaining for the rest of the round. So Spink, Zaiwu, and May, uh, Magus are going to rotate back to the A-bomb site. They'll attack in towards A. There's some time now for Liquid to pull this off. They're going to crunch towards middle and make sure things are cleared out. They played... I mentioned that Cloud9 game in the group stages. They played them on this to a score of 16 to 10 in their favor. Nav can get on his horse right now for a fast flank through T-spawn. He's at top mid. He's going to start shifting. But because there's no utility, Vitality is doing a contact play, so there's no indication, no information for Liquid. And Elise has to be the most careful player as he rotates towards the spawn stairs. Elyse takes out Zaiwu. Bounce nade does damage onto Sphinx as well. So, so far the bonus round going extremely well, and here comes Naf to make that even better. It let's the bomb go down, but that's not a huge deal. Sphinx does swing out the wide. Gotta be careful, Nitro, not to go down on this. Spray through the window. He's jumping, trying to keep his head away from this. Lovely redress and re-aim from Sphinx to catch out OC instead, but now the kills come in, and Naf and Nitro with one apiece. And Liquid get exactly what they wanted. They get to upgrade two SMGs that were on Elyse and Nitro to start the rounds. Don't have to spend the money in it. Losing two players isn't bad. They can drop an AWP over to OC, so this defense can get off and running right out of the gates. It all began with this. Shut down in the initial contacts in the first half, and Yakinder comes right back at him with more aggression in the second. A double kill to open up the round. Fine work. And now the gap is just four. And it's definitely going to be something to consider for Vitality now. They know this needs to be taken seriously, that yes, they had a big lead, but it's been quickly closed in on. OC staring toward the A main position. We'll throw it in incendiary and Dupree blinded up. We'll take a few, oh, just actually one ticket damage from that before backing off. Yeah, Nitro is going to be here with Smoke Molotov. Here comes the set piece from Vitality. Only one player coming from Palace. OC with the off is blinded. Two have oh, gotten wow. past his crosshair. Two have gotten past his vision, but he's got the third. 
He needs to be aware of that call, though. They're getting so close, and Apex was one of those two. He jumped across the boxes. He was able to make a kill, and then Dupree, he took out the Opera, so now he has it in his own hands. And with the ball planted, this could become... Dicey. Yeah, very. This could become a problem. Majisk as well is going to be able to get information from CT, so Dupree knows he's got his left guard covered, but he just needs to be aggressive and assertive to find the next pick, to find the opening kill on this retake attempt from two kits of Nitro and Naf, and you kinder on an M4. He's already got the first one. Oh my goodness. OC missing out on those, and now he knows he's got to watch CT, so that information plays off. Nate comes through, tag to 82. I'm, he's going to go back for it, misses the shot. And now it becomes a problem because the time is gone. This is one. They've stolen this back. It's going to be 12-7. Zaiwu just to back away. Doesn't even matter if he gets the kill or not. You want to talk about a big time shot? The one deke from Zaiwu. Obviously, beautiful work with the Deagle, but that's the player. If, if he gets in, if Yakinder makes it to the bomb, he can defuse that. There's time for the defuse at that point. And then Zaiwu has to go around the box. It's not planted for him. And, he, and Yakinder can be properly covered by Naf at the end of the day. The fact that OC misses those two players running across means he never knew how close they would get. And after this shot, if he realizes how close they are, I think he's booking it all the way back down the stairs to get some space. But because he didn't know they were that close, he sticks around a little bit longer and is punished for it. And that's the op that wins the day for Vitality. 12-7. They started again. OC aggressively toward the underpass this time. Baited into his shot as he jumps up. And it's not feeling quite as adventurous after taking a bullet in the knee. But he does go back to get Dupree. That'll work out. Falls off. And Elise takes over the helm instead with an aid that goes down. They're going to try and boost up and beat OC to position. He sees it. Oh, lovely response. Yeah, he saw that boost and he was like, perfect. That's exactly what I want. You're not ready for it. You're just boosting up. If they executed that maybe a half second quicker, OC might be dead. But the fact that he saw him still in transition makes that an easy, quick peek. Good shot from Apex. Elise goes down. And Catwalk and the B bomb site are going to be challenged. Nitro and OC aren't moving. NAF is going to be called upon again. Still holding on this get right angle, trying to make sure that they can't cross it into the site. He's only good for one. They just got the kill. I was seeing Nitro so much, so worried about a lurker staying in window room that they've they've been slow to actually come over here and adjust. They didn't take any risks on that, which means there's plenty of time for the bomb plant. And Nitro and OC have no idea where they're positioned. You gotta just save. And that's huge. This is yeah, they just stole that away again. Yeah, and not not just that, but I mean you go back to the round of vitality wins with just pistols a while back. Now look at the money. It was so good for it's Team Liquid. Ago, they upgraded yeah. those SMGs up to rifles. They had everything they could have wanted. Losing to Tech Nines of the Deagle is so brutal. Now they're gonna get reset. This off might be the only weapon they have if OC can get away with it. And I think that kill is gonna provide the escape route necessary, although Apex is on the hunt. And OC is sticking around for a potential fight, but Apex ah. calls it off. Yeah, it tucks himself into a corner. 13-7. Vitality is just three rounds away from a 2-1 lead in these grand finals. Two, yeah, I mean, one lead in maps. And then, considering this is a liquid pick, you would go on to overpass to try and close out the series, to close out the championship. We just saw that sequence again, Nav, as well. If you remember when we were on his POV, he did he did miss the, the smoke that he wanted to drop. He quick switched away from it too quick. It didn't actually get deployed. That might have given him some measure of safety to stay alive. But instead, he's punished. Standard window and catwalk smokes to start off the round, but they've got a ladder to cover off right now with the AWP. Naf knows they're coming in to be quickly. Oh, he's flashed off of it. Flashed off of it, but OC being in that ladder is able to swing out and compensate. That gives Naf an angle down below. So the defense works out perfectly to shut down this B-Rush. 13-8 looking likely as Liquid back to winning a scrappy round in terms of the weapons that they have. I know I know this game this this game seems away from Liquid because of the way the first half went and obviously these past couple rounds. This is a great one from OC. This is two kills here. He started to heat up with this AWP, and that might be the engine that Team, Liquid's, Team Liquid needs to, to recover in this game. Still not within striking distance, but it, it's a good start to mount this comeback. Six-round gap is going to turn into five as they just, just kind of chills and T-spawn for the moment. We've seen you kinder with a couple nice openings on the CT side, a couple nice double kills as well to get them going. So you're starting to get some of the elements of Team Liquid building towards something positive. 
And in a low economy round like this, to be able to upgrade to three AK-47s is beautiful. So the AK to be held on to. You're right, the money was building, but look how quickly it's tumbled as well. So liquid. Yeah, the Vitality side is kind of struggling now. Yeah, crazy. 200 I mean, on Zaiwu, 150 on Sphinx. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the pistol round win, right? And then the last one on top of it, but it's come back the other way quickly. And, and that's fortunate for Liquid because if, if they, you know, if they force them to save here, you can maybe get to a 13-9 scoreline. You, you give them another round to build into it. And if you lose again, it's 14-8 uh, as it would be. And then you're broke again because you don't get a chance. So this gives them a chance to build back up into it before it's a little bit too late in the score. I thought this might happen. This is, this is, this is a big investment. Yep for I'm Vitality with, with this kind of a lead. With a five-round lead, you can play the economy very conservative, and you can make sure that you have strong weapons before you go back to challenge. Apex drops an op over to Zaiwu. They have the saved AK-47, and I think uh, May just even dropped a Galil over to Dupree, or he bought it himself. So they, they've scraped together a pretty strong, scary buy on the Vitality side, but this, this might be exactly what Liquid would want to get back into the game. If they can win this one and force Vitality back onto an eco or a low economy round with only a two-round losing bonus, and you can close the gap to 10 with relative ease. Yeah, relative ease. That's a relative term, I think. Nothing is easy. And here we go. Another French timeout. You mentioned this before. Look at Apex. He's chatting, hands out with the mouse and keyboard, just making sure they're on the same page. They didn't call a timeout when they made this buy, so I'm wondering if maybe this is a little bit scattered and disorganized just because it came in so late. The call to actually buy into this round? Possibly. That's, I mean, that might be reading into it, but it's, maybe, it's maybe a Maybe it's a Zaiwu Kerrigan meme, you know, when you call an eco <laughs> and that one guy buys. Yep, true. Standing there about to go on a whitewater raft with an Asimov for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, it, it also could be the fact that they don't want to give Liquid too many timeouts if they think that, you know, they're on the right page tactically, if they've prepped enough that they don't need to bring Zaiwu in every single round. T-side, maybe we talked to, to Kadian about this as well. Congratulations to Katie and, and Stowen. Just yeah, signed for two, two more years. A lovely bait video to release that. But uh, yeah, he mentioned sometimes T-side, you might get away with doing that a little bit more as things can be discombobulated for the CTs. Not this time, though, as Nav gets the kill that separates the round difference in their favor. It's a three on two, but don't discount the fact that the two players left alive not only have a bomb planted, they have an AWP and an AK and both have armor. This is on. And one of them's Iwoo. That's another big piece. When this comes in, there's a lot of open space. Only two flashbangs to deal with them. No smoke, no Molotovs. All three players from Team Liquid do have kits, and they're waiting for a liege to get into position for this flank. Man, oh man, they're gonna have to be so fast on this, though. Elige really needs to close this down, but he can't make noise, because that'll just make it too easy. OC fading out shots, tries to get another one in. At the dumpster, turns it around, then Elige is there, and on the case, this will be a defuse, and it'll now be 13 to nine. Great call, and I think, I think all three players have been spotted at the A-bomb site, so I don't think Vitality was even thinking about that flank. Elige did get a trade kill on Yekinder in connector, so they were not expecting him to go all the way around that deep into the retake. 13-9, Liquid within four, and this is that eventuality we just kind of discussed. Vitality with the plant can descend into Tech-9 and Deagle by, so it'll be stronger than initially thought. And they did win around like this earlier. And here we go, round 23. Liege, fast, they've got the nade down, they've got Molotov down, they've got the problems of not seeing through flames. Nitro knows they're on pistols, and yet he doesn't have the time enough to get that M4 back, so he's going to give that away. Apex is going to pick it up. Good response by Nitro to at least get in underneath the shadow, and perhaps staying alive was the better call because he's absolutely mowed them down. Yeah, and he's been an absolute stud for Team Liquid throughout this map. Even during the struggles in the first half, he was the one delivering... And that's been the story of Team Liquid throughout these playoffs is whenever somebody goes quiet that you're used to, if Yekinder has an off game, Elysia's stepping up, Naf is stepping up, OC's had a huge rise. Now it's Nitro's turn. Now it's Nitro, Nitro's turn to perform to a level where he can keep his team in the game, waiting for them to arrive in the map. And they have 13 to 10. Double digits. Things have gone quiet, only two rounds so far for Vitality. They're back to guns this time, but notably not an AWP for the 24 frags that Zaiwu has. He will be on the AK to get any more. And OC's ready for it. He's got Zaiwu down. There won't be any more kills for him in this round. 
Uh, just with a straight contact play, though. He's trying to take one out of the Kinder's book today. He really is. Swing is available from the top side of Palace, but they don't want to overcommit to that in case there is a rebuttal. OC will cover that now, and Elise can go hunting. Yeah, Ma Ma Mages has done fine work with these kinds of plays to apply pressure. Go far enough. Yep. Deep oh, made. Got one right finally. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well played. Oh, OC still on point. That's a fast flick, and he's going to have another three in the round. This is very much on. This is on. We're seeing similar shutdowns. Vitality seems to be getting or being given almost more map control than what we saw Liquid able to achieve, but it's not because they're battling for middle. It's because they're trying to set up on A each time. A lot more setups toward that A main position, and it's just not working out, not yielding anything. But just go back over with 8 HP because zoom. That's filthy. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, presumably, he wants to die in this situation, but he gets a kill anyway. Yeah, he certainly does. Full losing bonus. Get yourself the money. And he'll die in a rather spectacular play. Quad kill from OC. Uh, yeah. I, I mentioned him coming. You could see him starting to get a little bit more confidence with the op at the start of this CT side and starting in some really nice shots. He's built it up into this game at the perfect moment to allow Team Liquid to actually battle for map three. They're just two rounds away. Has really, really stepped up his game. Molotov out, smoke down. So all of the standard bits of utility. There is good position and good shot. You can doubles it up. Get a little confidence back into him as he's up down to 17 and 18. He's still a bit more quiet in this game, but that's all right. He'll back off on this one. They just need the rounds. Oh, my word. Hello, Magisk. Oh, your kidder's in trouble. He's actually trapped a little bit into that corner. He does get away. Angus had one chance at the parting shot. Nitro tapping away. OC's going to finish it off. He spotted one more on Catwalk. He's tagged with the scout, I believe. Just to pick up the AK. I think, o I think OC wasn't tagged by the scout. I think he was actually hit by Sphinx as he turned. Well, Liquid's got to be careful about losing Nitro inside of the eight bombs. If that guy. were to happen, Yakinder is low. OC is low. As Nike's on running with that scout, already pre scoped not to make any noise. Wants a headshot. Gonna need a headshot. Gonna try and get immediately on a Nitro. Has no idea at this point. He hasn't shoulder checked it back. To okay, sees the gun barrel. That's all. That's the only thing. The bomb. That's the only thing they could have done. Is Apex make that play before before Mages is even able to get involved in the action? He's trying to catch a timing. Trying to catch him before the rotation, but now with that kill, with the bomb dropping, Yakinder's going to push in towards T-spawn. He's going to start having a flank, and I think now... I wonder what, what Magus is going to do with his AK-47. Looks like he wants to save. 20 seconds left. As mentioned earlier, they do have the full losing bonus. He's got 450 in the bank. You could, you could justify saving this. There was there was a small there was a small investment in this round from Vitality, picking up the Hero AK and, and a scout and, and some obviously some deagles and some pistols but plenty of money left behind them to have a strong buy going into round 26. However, this has got to be a shocking result. Both teams, CT sides in lockdown mode. Whichever way you want to look at, CT sides in lockdown mode, offensive sides ineffective. Big, big runs for the defensive halves. Overpass and Vertigo are the two remaining maps in the pool and in this series. It's now five rounds straight for Team Liquid. And in those five rounds, they've only lost five players total. OC, that was all based on the call. Yeah, oh, maybe you could have been right. It might have been the scout that came out, because I was going to say that would have been faster from Spinks to react like that. Well done, Jason. Thanks, man. Eyes like a hawk on the old man. Yeah, they still work. LASIK, baby. Oh, well, that's cheating. Aggressive in middle again for Team Liquid, but you're right. It's, Speaking it's, it's... of cheating, Jason, how many times did you change your <laughs> prediction this week? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I thought. Plead the fifth. Uh, see... Aggressive from Team Liquid as well in middle, much like we saw from Vitality, but different stylistically. That we haven't seen them push towards top middle until this is until like right now, essentially, with with this kind of a setup coming in. Elise watching for someone to swing underpass. Yakinder and OC focused towards top mid. Yakinder mostly just kind of challenging and supporting both positions. And actually now he's gonna take underpass with a strong position on top of fence now that OC and Elise are set. And Vitality go for any kind of late mid control, they could be in trouble, but they aren't. They're going to fall back and rotate to the A site. Nitro is already playing retake, so there's some space for Vitality to gain. This should, this could at least be a plant. And it's either a tie game or a margin to work with. But the economy is there for Liquid either way. So they'll set for the smokes. I would throw his toward the jungle stairs. Nitro 
He's gonna self-smoke CT. He knows he has to back off on this. He's aware that they're likely gonna come out from Palace. The read is correct, but Majiska's not going yet. Slight gap, Apex wants to find it. Good shots back from Nitro, not a kill. But significant damage done, and Dupree's been dropped by OC. Uh oh Bomb's not there yet. Smoke's gonna dissipate. They need to get on this quickly because the rotations are coming in, and there's a flank in play as well. Yeah. They've already got a Liege quickly closing down Sphinx. on their heels. Spinks in middle. Yakinder cleared this, but he didn't spot it. It was a little bit early. Spinks, he's gonna take OC. That was close, and now Yakinder can respond. So can Naf off Catwalk. Naf was there. That was very close to the re being correct. At least likes to go to Palace. Perhaps he thinks the post plant they're going to be playing in there and it's easier to flush it from inside than out. And that might be an interesting situation because they're going to be looking that direction from Tetris quick enough or nor are they not, but he didn't know there was two. Apex, the man on low HP who still survives, gets onto it and they're going to have to hold it off. They're going to have to hold the angle. Apex somehow, he's the one in this. They could win the round and he will. 14-12. He was hit to 8 HP in the first exchange and he survives to win it out. That's absolutely amazing. Massive from Apex. That is huge. Nitro could not transfer over and complete the kill, as you said, from the start of the round. Oh, man, that is close. Liquid fans, heartbroken. When they see where that plant is and where Apex is, you're thinking that's a liquid round all the way, that he won't be able to get there in time. And yeah, Zonic calls a time. Teams to be able to prove that their T-side can be consistently effective. Let's see if they can build upon it. Good nades, Zywoo down to about half health, 44 HP. Molotov comes out, Alish has the first kill. That's Zywoo through the corner of the wall. But they know he's stuck down there now. Oh, he's just gonna brave it. Not bad, just run the gauntlet back toward Connector. And I thought there might have been a counter push toward the apartment's position to try and get him out that way in the underpass, but that's being spammed now, rather hectically as well, by Apex. Oh, he's got Majisk. What a response immediately. You said it. They've not been able to string rounds consecutively. And this is horrible for Vitality. There's no money out of this timeout. There's nothing, and they're not even getting close to a bomb site. They're not going to get that extra $800 from the plant. So Team Liquid putting themselves in a prime position. And they've got all the momentum in the world. Five on two. You mentioned they lost one of these in the previous map. <laughs> this would be the worst, the worst time to drop it again. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty much soul destroying. That would be map defining. Nitro with fast damage again to Apex, but again, Apex stays alive. Okay, now he's down. Forget that thought for a moment. It's all onto Sphinx, one on five. 39 seconds, they know exactly where he is. And here comes the cavalry. Careful, gentlemen, but it is going to be 13. Now for Liquid, just one round back. I see a shot up the scoreboard. He's now 23 kills, tied with Nitro. They're both at the top for Team Liquid, 23 apiece. For Vitality, at Zywoo at 24 and Spinks at 22. Round 28. And look what Vitality have to fight with. Three Deagles, a Scout, and a Tech-9. Smoke Flash is the only nades they bring into the round. to the corner. Deagle in hand. Blind it. Yakindar knows he's there, so he'll throw a nade out that's going to be significant. Ooh, falls short. All right. I'm, I'm <laughs> I know. Done. Don't even I'm do it done. anymore. Like, why do I bother? It's not worth. Oh, I'm going to go into, like, trauma and shock over them. It's all right. We'll, we'll practice your nade calls moving forward. No. Let's just yeah, forget that they exist. Okay. Well, OC's been shut down. Good shot from Aegis. Previously had a one Deagle on a liege as well, right through that connector smoke. So he's got that one lined up with the Deagle. Yakinder's still aggressive on Catwalk to make sure that there's no space for Vitality to work with, and that smoke is helping him so well. Apex, though, with the scout. Okay. I thought that was a clean headshot all day long. I, it looked like it was going to be, for sure. Op is picked up. Interesting. And taken down. Nitro through the smoke immediately. Molotov comes in, but Apex is already swapped up. And He's going to throw it to Zywoo. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like it. Hey, bud, you're good with this gun here. You want it? Yeah, it does his best to get it to him. I think Zywoo's worried about the danger of going for it, but now he's got it in hand. 40 seconds left. Uh, Naf with the shot onto Zywoo. That now means it's just Apex remaining. He's pre-scoped on the scout. But, okay, gets a gender. I was low HP from earlier on in the exchange. Now he's down. Tie game 14-14. Tie game late, but the money's back. Vitality saved for this. Let's see what they've got. This is a critical round. Team Liquid, obviously, with all this momentum, no reason for them to call a timeout, no reason for them to stress whatsoever. Vitality's not doing it yet either. Excuse me. 
They call it right at the end. Fourth timeout used. They'll have nothing for overtime. Going back to it if you just keep getting wrecked. Both defenses have had that much success. And if your idea is to to try and punish OC, you're you're failing in that regard too because oh, well, he's that's, putting that's up a second point. half. Yeah. Yeah. No. That and that's the point. But maybe you're thinking, you know, group stage OC. He's looked shaky at times, especially when the pressure's on. Maybe you just keep hitting him. Look at this call from Liquid. This is a this is a big risk. They changed the defense. You know that whole adage of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, they slide OC over to the B. They're thinking, okay, Vitality haven't been here in a while. It's been at least six, seven rounds since they've tested the B bomb. So let's park OC here. It's going to allow us to hold down the fort on the other side of the map. We can have an A-centric defense with four riflers. And OC is going to have a deep spot, and he's delivering. So you're putting faith in him as well. He kind of backed off the window with the smoke now in front of it. But if they don't go B, then all of a sudden your star opera, your stud opera in this second half isn't involved. In the climax of the round, 58 seconds. This is tough. This is They need a rotation almost now if they don't want to give up map point. And you can just committing to the window rather than going around. They're on catwalk. <sighs> Molotov. Does that leave him deep? Does that leave him burning? It does. He can just go into the flames, but he gets the information. He spots catwalk. Doesn't matter. oc has gone. They've opened up the B site. Yeah, that happened so fast. That happened so fast that no one was able to shift over. Nitro's just getting to market. Alicia's coming up catwalk as well. Go through the smoke. Does he try and land on the inside of the window and then shuffle to the corner? Open up his angle. He's going to wait for his teammates instead, which is probably the safer decision. One of his teammates is already on catwalk, but he's being stared at by Zywu. Elysia's going to have a tough time coming around the corner. Dupree already double-checking it. Nitro's got the cross on it. Zywu, they know where he is now. He looks to the door. They're back off. He's going to follow it up, though, to take out Nath, and it's all on Nitro. He slides past Zywu, but he knows he's set and posted. Smoke off of the bomb. That'll force the angle. They saw him already, though, and Zywu makes no mistake. It's map point first for Vitality. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. Through mid, up catwalk to the B bomb site. It had been ignored. And that's the switch up that Team Liquid get punished by. They only have OC there. While he gets the kill and B hauls, there's nowhere to fall back to. They got up catwalk so fast. The timeout that is called works perfectly for Vitality. Zonic pulls another miracle strat out, and it delivers them a 15th round. Vitality have one chance to escape with this map. Otherwise, we're going to overtime. It's round 30. Liquid have plenty of money. Plenty of money to have a solid buy. A holes pop, palace, a timing hit. Yep, they're switching it up again. And it's gonna be solo inside of the site. There is two inside a connector that can rotate over, but that man is Nitro. And he is back towards CT with an M4. They're in, they're waterfalling it down. They're already covering off the firebox, so he'll nade that direction, but Dupree's come forward of it. Nade's not gonna do anything, he puts him on five. Spinks dropped. OC, very close quarter combat. And that low HP, does he try and fire into it? Bomb's gonna get planted. We know what happened last time the bomb got planted at Apex at 8 HP, so don't rule Dupree out of this yet. He's still going to fight in this in every possible scenario, and Zywu does the same to catch out Nitro. Nath, big win on Majisk. They have to peek it again, and with no one at CT, Zywu's got more free reign. More free reign to pick. We saw what he did last round. He tries it again. Yekinder gets the kill, but it's Dupree. It is the low HP once again that could cut this all out. There's a little more time this one to work on. OC and dropped, but over the top, Yekinder's going to get it. We've got overtime coming as Liquid are going to get the defuse. We do indeed. Zywu's been so dangerous in these past two rounds. Open space, bomb planted. He's controlling things. It's to start off in this overtime, but uh, you gotta say, there, there's a, that, that call at 14-14 from Vitality and Zonic was absolutely magnificent. Now, another change in the defense again. Liquid got punished late in the half by switching OC over towards the B halls. Now they've put him in underpass. Apex jiggles it, jiggles it again. No shot from OC. Molotov comes out, gonna force oh, a smoke out, and he's gotta tuck himself into the corner. Doesn't even matter. He's got it anyways. That's the up down. That's a big win for Vitality. Yekinder's going to try and compensate for this. No one watching that underpass position, but they aren't going to push through. So Yekinder still holds toward top middle, but look at Dupree. Off angle, on the ledge. This is even better. All right. Is it? I, if it's an op, no. I was going to say better off <laughs> angle because he's on the curb. The problem is the op doesn't matter where he hits you. You're going down. Yeah. Well, if you're liquid from here on out, you, you just put OC back where he's been this entire time. Don't put him anywhere else. Keep him... Keep him in middle and connector. Keep him at the A bomb site. Keep him parked in that position because he's delivered for you there. But over towards the B bomb site, it's been ineffective. In underpass, it's been a liability. And Nitro's been awesome at anchoring this A bomb site. He has been a champion. But this is a five on three, and he's got no one in support. Actually, excuse me. He's got a leash on a fast flank. This could be a round winning play. 
Let this him go. So Let him go. Sick. Yep, this, this is so is smart. So good. Alish can't get away with just one kill and giving up his position. He needs multiple. He probably needs a double kill at minimum. Oh, baby. He might get one only because Apex turned back. They went back to throw a utility, I'm sure. He was going back to try and get smokes down. Nav's going to fall. So unfortunately, Alish can be as clever as he likes. It just didn't work in his favor. Yeah. But that he had to make that play. Got to respect it. If, a, if, if Apex doesn't come all the way back, which, by the way, is probably a symptom of the fact that it's a five on three. He's like, yeah, we don't need this many players there. I'm just going to rotate back around towards middle, cut off rotations. I'll be there for a late bomb plant, a late post plant. And Alicia's play just gets ruined. Probably the most one of the most valuable deaths we've seen in this game so far. 16-15, <laughs> one round lead for Vitality. Yeah, this was the angle that I thought actually was going to win on that. You can get up, got himself just off the normal headshot position. Has the AK, but then boom, wrecked, or excuse me, has the M4, but boom, wrecked by the AWP. So 16, and the important thing is vitality. You said it, T-sides have been hard to come by. They've just got one, and the first one in overtime. That could be a difference in itself, so we'll see how Liquid respond. Elise back toward middle, and you're right. They're not going to put OC in anywhere uncharacteristic this time. He's going to stay inside the window at this point. Yep, don't move him. Don't even change anything. Stick with the defense that got you 11 rounds in the second half to bring it all the way back. Apex works his way out, OC. It's a good shot from Yukender. Nice shot from Zaiwu, though, to answer that. OC's removed immediately inside of the connector, so Yukender backs off a cat and wants to play the crossfire from window instead. Majisk! Man, the dry peaks, he is really giving it a go, isn't he? That has to be something they prepared and planned and looked at and said, you know, there, there's going to be a lot of mid-presence from Team Liquid. Maybe it's something they called in the timeout. With how many times the Akinder, Elise, and OC have been challenging and connector and on catwalk, he's, they're like, look, you have the opportunity. If you feel it, pick a couple rounds and just go for it. Donic was even saying that right now he thinks the entry role is the hardest role of anything to play. And he said Yukinder does so well at knowing when to push. So maybe they are trying something of that nature. This time Yukinder didn't push at all. They pushed straight into him from the ladder. He's going to slaughter them, and Naf will tie this game back up with a kill onto Apex. 16-16. Blind kill from Yukinder to start the round. I think Nitro winning that duel against Magisk on the dry entry, on the contact entry, was a very critical one to win. If Nitro goes down here, if he misses this timing to check towards Palace and snap down towards Magisk, it causes a rotation. It might actually cause Yukinder to move right into their attack. Couple of fans online, a couple of fans here in the arena, and I'm sure there's many of you in chat. Really enjoying this game because this series is definitely heated up on this third map, and Spinks back down behind that smoke. It's OC. For a cap at it, looking for any information. Needs to be careful with his positioning. Oh, are you kinder. Yeah, he's got to be careful too. Already at 10 health. Can't take any stray bullets. He's going to back off a little bit outside the murder hole which makes OC's position compromised, so he's got to get away from Top Con and look towards Window Room. There's a shift in the defense at the moment. They're feeling pressure towards the B bomb site. Yekinder's slid over, Naf is pushing towards Catwalk. OC's in market for the moment. The, the interesting thing is that they're doing this on an anchor right now from a single player, and that's Elige. But they're still working on the palace. Naf's going to be tagged as well. Nitro's in a lot of trouble yeah, here. Yeah, but OC's here now. OC's here now. He can actually slide out if he needs to. He's gonna go on this. He knows they were smoking it. Oh, I didn't know there was three, but now they have the information, so the rotations are on. And OC wants to try and line them up. He can't do it. Naf and Yakinder so low. Elise is good for one, but he's standing on the flames. He's gonna burn alive. This could be two T-sided rounds for Vitality. As OC strives desperately to find an opening, they're not gonna give it to him. And as they slide out, it's too late to cancel the bomb, but he at least gets Magisk. Naf still swinging. Oh. Swings twice. Hang on, it's down and just sphinks. A man with 15 found two. And Sphinx is nowhere near the angle to hold this bomb yet. It is planted backside default. He can push the connector to do it, but they're going to get Naf surely on the bomb. They give him the AWP as well, considering his HP, but they have to clear this. Smoke goes down, defuse to start. Sphinx already had the lineup for the secondary peak because he knew what the play was going to be, and they'll bring the op back over instead. They just need to hold him off. It defuses occurring, and it's going to happen for Naf. He knew he would spray toward the smoke, and it will be 17-16 when we swap sides. Risky to swap positions in that kind of a call, though, saying, I'm tapping the bomb. Hey, wait, I got the off. Let me slide out there. And he's also got a bait. With that kind of HP, he's got a bait. And I think Naf pointed out at the crowd. He's like, yeah, you saw that sick shit. That double kill with the M4 with only 15 health. That is a nasty kill to find. What a round of impact for both OC and Naf. Great shot into Magisk. This is magnificent. Ready for the follow-up peak as well. Apex had no chance. 
Nasty as. Yeah, you can't even believe it, can you? No. Tough loss to take. 17-16. Only one round on the T side in OT for Vitality. And now it's Team Liquid. And they better be crossing their fingers at the long delay from Vitality's defensive half has caused them to slow down. But Spinks is going to get right back to his winning ways. Oh, they could dry, control the, the run boost and drop on the edge of the smoke. He just drops into the crosshair. So Vitality with the first blood and the advantage in this round. That's just not, not a new feeling for Team Liquid's offense. They played so many in regulation four on five. Palm to be left at spawn a little bit longer as OC and Nitro gather themselves. Ali still waiting at mid, so this will be one, two, one to A, presumably. But look at Magis getting aggressive on that. He wants to shut it down. This is going to be a tough position for them to figure out late. Flash in. Bye-bye. See you, OC. He was so good in this position as well. If you want to go back to regulation, Sphinx in middle was was phenomenal. They just got the top of a ramp. It was, was, it was brutal. So Elysia's in the smoke and connector. Naf and Nitro both over here at the A bomb site. There's 39 seconds left on the clock. One round is all Liquid needs to force a double overtime, just to be clear. Yeah, that's easier said than done with the way defenses have been playing. Zaiwu's here with the AWP as well. And he started to come into God mode Zaiwu towards the end of regulation on the T side. He leads the server and kills 32. Oh, spotted Naf taken down by Apex at range. There's no safe plant either anymore. Just gonna try and swing in. EWP, he got the call, but he didn't react in time. Nitro hit the shot. You would have thought he said there's two there, but either way, at least just walked around to his death. He's swinging off that contact, and obviously Zaiwu just already has the angle. Quick shot from Zaiwu. One kill, but it's a big one onto Elise to make sure nothing more can happen. And Elise had to make that play at that time because time in the round was running out. Tied up at 17. So who gets to play for the map first in overtime? That's what this round is for. 18-18, double overtime needed. 19, it's done. Now, one thing that Vitality did in regulation to grab that round right at the end was they switched into like a more execute, timing, pop-heavy style in the last two rounds of the game. Liquid was never able to transition into a similar kind of strategy. They stayed slow paced. This time, it's fast mid control from Elise. And thankfully for them, there's no aggression. They got to be happy about that one, but that's probably sending red, fl red flags out towards someone like Nath. Yeah, well, hang on. He's got an off angle. He's going to find the first shot. Spots the second. And he will take those welcomingly as he walks back out to hit a headshot. And does he expect further aggression? He slowed it down. Does he see the elbow? He does, but doesn't snap fast enough. He did do damage. So damage is welcome in this situation, despite that they lose one of the two-man advantage. You want to talk about how smart Yukinder is as well. He's saying there's a lot of action. There's a lot of aggression on that side of the map. Means there's less manpower here. OC falls. Yukinder doesn't pounce just yet. Waiting for the perfect moment. And Apex is going to slide out again. He's going to have another one. That's a liege to fall. And Yukinder still not put into play. Trying to catch him off. He gets tagged. 9 HP. Apex does a huge amount of work to pull this back as Dupree reverse fire, trying to jump up on it. Finally gets the mechanics to work in his favor. Now, they knew Dupree was in Palace, right? He got the kill on a nap. So yeah. they, they know he's at the A bomb site somewhere, either in halls or in the site itself. Yeah, but do you really want to tempt fate and go back against Zaiwu versus a damaged Dupree? I mean, I guess that the, the lesser known is that it could be two players as opposed to one on ones. But Zaiwu is going to be here. Holds his P250, interestingly enough. Not the AWP. And maybe that's why. Oh, goodness me. He knew Yukinder was low. And now he's going to get ready to play off in a one on one against Nitro. As it still sits with those two in the sight. He can run. He can gun. He can bait out shots. And soon there's going to be no ammo left for Nitro. And he knows there's a second player on the move. How does he find this? He's got to go aggressively. Oh, and Zaiwu toys with him the whole time to get 18 for Vitality. He had him on a string. He had him on a string that whole time. Zaiwu pulled Nitro into every fight that he wanted. When have you seen Zaiwu with an op go, nah, I'll just play with a P250. Had to have known Nia Kinder was low. Oh man, what a good play. Zaiwu just slides in and plays it patiently, but this is the round winning play from Apex. Stops everything stone cold, double kill at top con. And he came, the Kinder didn't go on either of those. I think as he was worried that there was going to be a second set of eyes on Connector, but they got caught off so hard by Apex. And there were dual smokes in that bomb site as well. One was Zaiwu's, one was Nitro's, and they just he, Nitro couldn't find him around those smokes. Zaiwu played that perfectly. That's a masterclass. It's actually insane that the, the, the T side's been so hard for Liquid. They get the opener, NAF doubles plus almost a third, and they still couldn't close it. Lovely slide from Space, but see Kinder does respond. There goes the op. Huge trade, huge trade for your Kinder. 
Ever since Liquid started rotating OC around on the CT side at the end of regulation, he's gotten a little bit quiet. He got pulled out of his rhythm. It's Zai Wu who's taken over this game. Three players up catwalk. Dupree's in ladder room. Spinks is going to shift over towards the eight bomb site, so it's just the two defenders. Question becomes, can Dupree get anything and how many? Dupree. Oh, good find again from the Kinder. He's spotted by Apex, gets taken down, but now they know where he is. He's going to try and make himself a bit of a smooth criminal inside of the smoke and fade away, but Naf, AWP staring at him. Bomb to be planted, Sphinx to deny. They didn't know he was that close, but he gets traded out as well. Majisk is all that remains between a win or more rounds again. And Majisk is spotted. Naf sees him. He's going to swing out. Naf gets the kill. We're doing it again, baby. Double Round him up. Over God, neither team giving it up either. And we're right back into it. No break, no breathing room, no time for the teams. We play again. 22 is the magic number for victory now in double overtime. Spinks to the window first, puts out the incendiary already so the Kender can't cross, but he doesn't want to. Sees all that utility, falls off of it. Nitro instead though, with some pace, trying to force a reaction out of B. And this is why. Ooh, a little and bit it's, of it's worked, because yep. look at Zaiwu, he was already on the way. They've got a gap. If they go right oh. now, there's a chance they get in. Majis tries to line it up, he's traded off. And now they need to be aware, you've got space, you've got time. You don't have anything towards CT, however, and Zaiwu comes over there late. That might be misleading, because Nas has the bomb down inside of the site, and no one is ready to cover him. OC needs to swing on that, and he does. Apex down, Yikinder finds middle. It's just Zaiwu remaining, but it's just Zaiwu remaining. We saw how good he was with the P250. He's blinded up this time, tries to jump away, tag the 41. And this gets further and further from possible, the more likely they are to burrow into these positions. So he'll nade toward Naf, to get him. and it's gonna be Yekinder that gets it. Does get him, you were right. You called that one, Jason. But Yekinder gets the round first. Yeah, what a great round from Team Liquid. That's the first real success they've had at kind of switching up the timings and the aggression of that kind of a hit. And, and you're exactly right, a perfect fake setup from Team Liquid to pull all the attention away. Really, really isolating that A defender. Great job from OC as well, providing support fire with the op from Palace. Critical kills, two of them. One through the smoke to start things off and one to protect Naf. Quick movement from Vitality. Two players down toward the underpass and they're gonna flash Sphinx in. Back turn, quick pop, quick check, nothing there. And now they'll know they've got a bit more space to work with inside of middle as well. They've already shuffled Dupree back over and Zywu blinded. That will find Elige, and then through the smoke, he gets Nitro. Not a bad situation to put himself in at all. Yeah, as I was showing why he's one of the best players in the world, and he's showing real dominance with his AWP, up to 39 frags now. Minute and 12 seconds on the clock. Yakinder, Naf, and OC, the only ones remaining three versus five. They spent pretty much all their utility at that A bomb site. They don't have a whole lot to work with, but they're going to try and coordinate with Yakinder to take mid control, and maybe they can find a kill. If they can grab Sphinx and bring this into a three on four without taking too much damage, without taking a loss, then it's possible. And I think Sphinx knows it, so he's going to slide out into safety. Scariest part of all of this for Vitality is that Yakinder's woken up in this game. He's up to 32. He now leads the way for Liquid. It's Zaiwu, the only one that's ahead. He got there quietly. Man, this is, this is when he does his best work. When he has no utility in front of him and you give him space, He's gonna walk in and find There's these a angles. Gap. There's a gap here that he can use. No one's actually checking this, and he sees the gun barrel. So Wu's not at a deep enough angle, and Dupree's close to a ramp, so nobody knows. Yeah, that's a kill. This has to be done. <gasps> well, he went early. He gave Spinks a chance to react based on the sound cue. But it's opened up. Pulled one back. Needs to find others. Dupree's not looked away, but he will now. Waited for the flash. That was his cue, but Naf gets the information on that. How do they respond? OC's waiting for ticket. Zywu wants to sneak out. He knows he can't. He knows he's being watched. Lovely shot, you have to say. It's all on OC, one on three, and he knows his positioning is compromised, that he has to find a better spot to be because they're going to be coming from CT at the very least, but there's too many more angles. Still, they want to take their time. Still, they want to be patient on this. Swings out, first shot success. Goes on to the Tech-9 instead. Tries to get Apex, he does, but Magis came back. Oh, Magis came back in time. Yeah, you're exactly right. There was nowhere for OC to go. He had to get aggressive somewhere. You could see him hoping and praying that Magis was going to offer himself up on Catwalker and Connector before the CT spawn fight began. Almost a doable situation. None of these rounds are easy. That's a three versus five. That comes into a very close affair. Look at these opening kills, half blind. 
Alij peeks a little bit late. Zaiwus, it's fading, the flashbang. And right before the smoke pops, he goes out for one more, knowing the smoke is going to cover him after the shot. Perfect escape. Solid, solid performance across the board right now. This is nuts. 19, 19, 22 to win, 21s. Oh, we go to a third. We join in the Kinder while he's blinded up and he finds Zaiwu falling down. Second round in a row, Zaiwu has died in the window early. Actually, I shouldn't say that, excuse me, it was two rounds ago. Last round was a little bit different, but he has lost that battle twice in overtime now as Nitro's gonna take out Sphinx. Dupree has to back off, smoke dissipating. And think about this now too, is his Team Liquid have a five on three in this final round of the first half of overtime. This has been a very CT-sided affair. They're about to grab two offensive rounds in second overtime. A huge benefit when they switch over. Apex gonna get aggressive and try and even things out, trying to claw them back into this. Alicia top mid is looking for the peak off catwalk, but Apex is gonna win it. That's a solid shot. He's had a very good game, Apex. 21 kills, but some very, very impactful ones. Nitro is waiting and lurking in the smoke out at Palace. He's gonna start sliding out as it fades. Ekinder in middle, he does grab Dupree. Makes no mistake. You said he started coming alive. Yeah, he certainly has. The gist, though, was not ever accounted for. Down goes Nitro. Bombs over at B. Apex is gonna try and beat them into this, though. I feel like Yukinder needs to get on, on catwalk. I don't know if it's if he's feeling comfortable in actually doing it, but the last time they did this, remember Zaiwu was hiding in the bomb site, and Majisk is rotating over. So this is essentially oh, a two on two at the moment. They have no idea. None at all. And it's an AWP on one of them. Always looked the wrong way at the wrong time. That is so favorable for Nafa. Majisk back into position will at least get OC. And what's the call? 18 seconds. You have to commit to this bomb site, but you need Yukinder closer. Yep, he's here now. They had to wait for it. Majisk smoked, flashed, got to go through, spotted Nav, trying to plant, doesn't matter. It's going to be the win on the T side for Liquid. They have a chance to close this out defensively. They certainly do. What a round from Team Liquid. Five on three, and they close it out perfectly. Nobody's missing that. Nobody's going to let that play at the back of the B bomb site happen again. 20 to 19. OC's got the off in hand. Great work from Nav clearing out Apex, but Majisk almost made this work, almost made this doable in a one tap from Yakinder to close it out. Here we go. Pace will be high. I, I have a feeling they're gonna try and exploit as fast as they can before Liquid can set into the default after utility's been deployed. Yeah, the exact style they switched into at the end of regulation. That said, good counter Molotov toward A main. That gives Nitro a bit of breathing space. There you go. He spots it with the jump. Now they'll rotate it over, but they're already underneath the Bosi. He hears it now, but he's flashed off in the corner. Dupree, that's a sitter. Free kill. And a second to follow it up. And Liege gets removed. Nitro's still alive in the bomb site, but he's very much alone. Naf is still over at B. And Yakinder's checking underpass at the moment. This is slowed way, way down. And Vitality is just loving the space they're given. Not even worrying about the A bomb site. This is the site that's under attack, but they've ignored it this whole time. They've killed everyone other than Nitro. And Zaiwu's got another. That is huge. Naf gets Dupree back, but bomb's being planted. He's left now in a one on three. That's a nice little switch up. That, that was crazy fast. Dupree just wrecked them. Yeah, get aggressive towards Khan. That's a throwback to the, to, the, to the way old days. Dupree with huge plays coming over the stairs towards Khan. Nav might go for this because why not? You got all the money in the world, but yeah. Yeah, it's the, yeah over time, remember, we sit with, what is it, 12-5 now? And yeah, even exit MR3, kills, even exit kills won't matter other than stat pads. Apex swap. I think Apex even saw him and had the nade out and was like, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> the round's it. already over. You can have it. Well, there's an AK-47 passed over to Nap at the very least. So with that, we go 20-20. Man, oh man, this, this one's getting good. And when they get these kills, they can just remain parked there. Because remember, this is a fast-paced tactic. Look at the time on the clock. There's there's a minute that Lick would have to work with and try and recover the situation. And you're going to be peeking. You're going to be looking for information. You're going to be trying to find out what the most effective play can actually be. That's a lot of time for a player like Zaiwu to be parked looking for kills with the AWP. You get this guy some open space and some time to work with. We know what he can do with it. OC misses a shot on the jumping players. And again, they're going to be fast towards connector. Apex and Magus are already challenging. But this is going to be a B play. Zaiwu's already moved in with the bomb behind Dupree. They're trying to pull most of the focus towards A and mid, which they've been successful with. But it's going to be towards the B bomb site. And OC, with all this pressure, is parked in ladder room. He doesn't know what's coming, so he can't just hop down ladder and turn the corner and look towards catwalk. 
Well, he's going to try it because he's got to do something to get assertive. AWP in a tight position. Majisk bounced out of the corner by an incendiary. We'll go back toward middle, and OC is, I think, aware of that because they would have heard that tick of damage, the fact that it hit him, and he's down on 39 HP. Oh, they need to have a shift in the defense, though. Naf is all on his own. He's got no Molotov to slow things down, just a smoke, and that's not going to stop any of this hit from Vitality. Yeah, he's a bit late deploying it. He hears them now. Call for the rotation. OC gets into position because he got out of the ladder in time. Found the first Naf in the corner. Follows up. It's an off angle that you wouldn't expect to cover. And they know OC's still there trying to tap in. It's Sphinx that's going to be tagged. That allows Elise to close the kill. And it might be map point for Liquid. 41 seconds. Zywu pumps the brakes. He still has the bomb in his hand. If there's any chance to get back, it's going to rely on this kill from a Jiska top middle, and he misses it. So even though they have the information, he's going to go back and try and beat. No, they the found punch. the escape. Oh route. my god, they have. Well, Nap's going to be Nap's, Nap's on con. Zywu's got to turn and challenge us to the op. This is a huge. This is everything. Nap has to peek. He didn't. Oh, he didn't. He lets Zywu go. Megas can CT spawn. He's going to grab you, Kinder, and all of a sudden the round is back on. Wow, on a single slip. And they raced because they knew Nitro was inside of the apartments. Zai wouldn't even fight him. I thought he was just going to go challenge him with the pistol to open it up. They get to the site. They've got another kill. They've got Nap down. They've got a leash. What a recovery from oh, Vitality, but it's not done yet. And it's the next bullet that wins because it's 18 for Nitro and 14 for Majisk. 32 kills for Nitro to 25, though, but I would say the advantage with the T's because that bomb continues to tick, and Nitro clearly oh, oh, no. had no idea, but a single bullet did, in fact, do it, and it's going to be map point for Liquid. He slow played that clutch, that 1v1. He waited so patiently, hoping and praying for a mistake, and Majis gave it to him and denied the spray right at the end of the round. And if you remember, Magus was the one who did a little bit of teabagging earlier on in regulation, so Nitro gets to give him one back. Yeah, take that, tomato face. <laughs> Dude, this, I can't believe they slipped out in this fashion. I am very surprised and shocked that Team Liquid didn't challenge the move up connector, and that's what I was just talking about. Zywu with time and open space with that AWP is so deadly, so dangerous. And he is having a world-class performance, but it wasn't enough there. Liquid with one chance to close this out. And it needs to be solid. Zywu already inside a main. They haven't had a lot of contact. No one at CT at all. They started off with an aggressive B-side and tactic. And Zywu, he's already removed one from this round. Yeah, that's Nitro. That's the guy holding down the fort. That's the one that is meant to be there in CT spawn. Yakinder slides out. He grabs one into a four on four we go. And look at Apex. Look at Apex. He's moved into the B bomb site so early. The bomb's going to come back around. Liquid have no idea. This has triple overtime written all over it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Liquid with... They still have no clue. Best chance yet. You're absolutely right. Bomb is inside of the apartments and now they start to rotate and my god, Apex is perfectly positioned and they're staggered as well. Naf's way far ahead of OC at this point in time. Does he wait? Does he consider? Surely something gave this away. What was it? So how do they deal with it? Well, Molotov is going to slow this retake down even further. Oh, he saw it. Oh, he just barely saw it. So that takes at least the biggest threat of kills before retake out of the equation. Yeah. But it still has a lot of time in favor of Vitality. And a flashbang in Majisk. He's not going to be blinded by. In fact, it's going to take out a liege because he kinder threw that right in front of him. So Zywu holds. Misses the first shot, but more information. They know that Naf's inside of the kitchen and wants to come out. And they've got a dish cooked up for him on arrival because Majisk is able to spot from both angles. Zywu finds he kinder. Spink steps out. And it is going to be looking like triple overtime unless OC hits some incredible shots. But the time is already Overtime. gone. We are doing it again. Man, Vitality has just started out. What a phenomenal call. What a phenomenal call for Vitality. Apex just pulled one out of the hat. Kinder takes down Dupree. That's the start for Liquid. He's going to double it up as well. And Elise, oh, ho, 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 what a chance. What a mid-take from Liquid. This started off with an 11 to 4 lead. If you're just joining us, it was 11 4 at halftime and regulation in the favor of Vitality. Liquid's defense came storming back. And overtime has been a very obviously contested affair. Five on two. There goes Yakinder. He's brought Zaiwu down to 43 HP. But that'll thin things out. That'll force some shifts in the defense. Nitro's going to get aggressive and push in towards Palace. Start clearing out A. He wants information. He wants to be able to cheat his teammate over. So Elise heads to the B bomb site. OC can watch for a jump up in towards Window Room through the murder hole. And Nitro is going to continue to push. And as soon as they make their presence known, Nitro is going to sprint to the B bomb site. Naf, just waiting it out. Secondary opper. 
with a primary target. Not able to hit it, though. OC comes around. He will. Zaiwu's going to take Naf down on the second shot, but Elise cuts him off. And it's 22 to 21. Yep, uh, what a great start. 25 to win now. Double kill from Yakinder. You mentioned him coming coming alive at a certain point. It was it was quiet for a lot of people on Team Liquid for quite some time. Yakinder's now up to 39 kills. The quietest is still Elise, which is surprising, because typically he builds into games that he's slow to start in. And there's the final kill from him onto Zaiwu. So 20 kills now. Yeah, well, thankfully, he's got OC up there as well with Yakinder. Nitro delivered a lot of performance early on. Everyone all, everyone on Team Liquid, except for except for Liege, who's not having a bad game, just quiet by his standards. Lean towards the A bombsite for Liquid. They have the right call. Yakinder is parked. Nitro is going to play over towards stairs and ticket. Elise is going to come up connector as soon as they know the hit is coming. Nitro with the quick smoke self-defend. This is a lovely spot from Yakinder. Reverse firebox. This could so easily be overlooked considering no one's played it all game. And he's going to pop out early enough to take down Apex. Good shot back from Zaiwu. He wanted to defend his teammates from CT. So that's why he went so quickly. Maybe patience would have prevailed in this situation because suddenly the site is lost. In a four on two, and OC can't do anything about Zaiwu jumping towards CT. He was partially blinded. Couldn't connect the second kill because he couldn't see Zaiwu until it was too late. Naf, let's see what he can do. Oh, more impact. Another brilliant double. Brings it into a two on two. OC slides out. He's got one more, but Sphinx is up next. Sphinx is up next and still has the best position possible for this. Now, the bomb's not planted for him. That's the problem. He can easily try and cut off the player coming from the jungle position, but he has to go. He's revealed his position. OC's gonna get it. What a clutch back from Nath and OC. 37 kills now for OC, 35 for Nath. Kinder still leads the way on 40, but everyone on Liquid is starting to really get into this. It's just so uncanny what Nath is able to do time and time again. Think of the round in Murder Hole when he had 15 HP and grabbed two two incredible Second headshots. Second one was like through the edge of the yeah. freaking wood. And once again, this is almost like an impossible situation. He's getting swung in CT spawn, and the second player coming for him is arguably who the best player in the world. Man, oh man, OC's looking great as well. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? It sure was. Yep, frustration. Frustration for Vitality. That was a round they probably should have had. They felt like was firmly in their control. This is this 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 is so much more than just this map now. When you're into triple overtime of a best of five, oh, it's gonna be so demoralizing. Everything's knotted up exactly. You're gonna demoralize your opponent going into overpass. This has everything written on it. Nitro, window, passive, Molotov down. He's going to put an incendiary out to cover off the underpass position. You can't wait for a response on that. Didn't hit it. He didn't hit it. He missed the spray, and Apex will live with 13. And he's been so good in some of those entry, those opening, his initial engagements in these rounds for a long time now when he's, since he's switched on. That's a tough loss to take, but Apex brought low. Elise is going to make up for it by getting information. Sees that Palace is clear. Magisk is still lurking on a ramp. Complete mid control for Vitality. The tough part here is the extremities are pushing. If they go up catwalk to the B bombsite, there's no one to defend. Naf is way out of position. OC didn't fire into the smoke preemptively. Double flash and poor old Dupree doesn't know what just hit him, so he starts firing back in defense. Oh, Elysia's going to be flanking Magisk. If this takes too long for Vitality to come to fruition, it's going to be a freebie for Elysia, and then it gets so difficult. There it is. Easy frag. They might actually have to fall back right into Naf's waiting arms. OC still up on ticket. They are going to go back. Naf's going to try and spring the trap on them, but they're above him. He doesn't have a clean angle on it. They're trying to get the op into position. He hears that, but he doesn't check connector. He thinks they've all gone. He actually just walked behind a free kill. Meanwhile, Nitro... Okay, Naf did turn back to find Spinks. Nitro's doing what he can to hold this off, but the plant's coming in. And Apex in the corner has to be perfect to hold the door and the window. And Zaiwu nearly gives himself up to OC, who was waiting for it. Apex will spring on that. He goes out to find it, and it's going to be a trade back by OC. All on Zaiwu, one on three. He's one on one on three already in this game, way back in regulation, but that was with an M4. And this time he's quick switched off at Naf with the kill. It's going to be three chances to close this game for Liquid when they swap over. Yeah, you couldn't ask for anything more if you're Team Liquid. You couldn't ask for anything more. Three opportunities. That's massive, and Vitality have to be in shambles at this point. What a stand in triple overtime out of the break. Liquid come back. There's a, I don't know if I'm imagining things. A little bit of a smirk, a little bit of a grim on a leash. Oh, man, Liquid. That, I mean, that's a, that's a interesting, because if Naf had at any one point just been like, all right, they're up catwalk. If he makes a footstep, Spinks swings and clears him, and that's a whole different round. Razor-thin margins between these two teams on Mirage.
Zaiwu gap. They jump. Oh, he read that so well. He was already preset for it. Kinder just gets smoked at the top of the jump. That run boost has not accomplished anything for Team Liquid. No, these nades might, though. They're going to double nade toward the top of Horseshoe. Never mind. I'm going to shut up again. You keep telling me you're not going to go back to it. Yeah, one of these days, Jason. OC wants to get started clearing out the B bomb site early. He takes a big risk just sliding into the peak towards Market Window. The rest of his team is coming behind. Dupree's just at an off angle. Rest of Team Liquid is here. They're hitting a timing right now towards this B bomb site that Vitality's not ready for. Dupree's going to be the only one. Zaiwu's hustling to get over, but OC's going to attempt to pin him down. Smoke is going to obscure the cross, and Dupree falls back. They're more than happy to play the 5-on-4, 5-on-3 now, retake. Elise waiting at the window for anyone to jump through. They need a kill. They need the next one. That goes without saying. Bomb planted. oc has got it. Spinks down. We saw the gun barrel. But he he can't swing it because it's a dual angle. All four inside of the checker's position. And the smoke is close enough that they're going to come straight through. They didn't see Elise, but Elise didn't see the second. And they have a chance on this. Dupree is frozen in place. He is scared right now. And he's going to get spotted out as Elise jumps away. A doubling up position. And they're all going to go down. Liquid's going to take it with a clean 